hi you guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl colors and here i am back with another video let me try to give you a little bit of background of why i'm doing this video so i remember when i first had nala and getting out the hospital you know you already have a lot of different baby wipes for when you do the baby shower and that type of thing when it was time for me to actually buy my own wipes and all the wipes ran out i'm kind of like well, which wipes are the best? Is the ones that I've been using, do I like these ones the most? You know, that type of thing. And I got really curious. So one day recently, I started thinking about that experience. Like, have I tried all the baby wipes? Because I traditionally go to my top two. But I'm like, you know what? I think it would be pretty cool to do a video on buying all different types of baby wipes that I can find so you don't have to so the basis of this video is to give you a one-stop shop place of what i think in my own opinion about wipes so you can have a good decision when it comes for you buying something different now let me tell you the type of baby wipes person that i am because i feel like there's a type <laughs> And that sounds so weird, but it is. So you have those moms who are the type that really just care about natural products. They kind of only care about the least amount of ingredients. They want only like kind of water type of wipes. They don't really care if it's like drying. And then you have moms that care about moisture, but they really only care about like price and stuff like that. And then I feel like you have someone like me. So let me explain the type of white person I am. I'm a person who I don't really care about how many wipes I necessarily use. Like, I do care, but it's not my end all be all. So what I look for in wipes is something that doesn't rip when I pull it. It's very thick. I like my wipes to be thick. I am noticing that people don't like that but I do because I feel like the thicker the white, the less wipes you'll use. And also I look for my wipes to be a little bit on the softer side. I don't want to feel like I'm wiping my baby with something that I wouldn't actually wipe. And side note, my favorite toilet tissue is Charmin Ultra Soft. I feel like once I tried that, I'm like, what have I been doing with my life? What have I been wiping my butt with? And I don't need a lot of tissue. And I am a type of person that kind of, oh, slightly overused tissue. So, just to kind of give you an idea. But I want something kind of durable when I take it out the pack. I don't want to rip it in half when I take it out the pack. I want something that's super thick, super soft, and super moisturizing. So that is kind of the thing that I use, and I do typically like a scent. Also, I don't want something super expensive, but I am the type of person that if it hits all the notches in the head, I am willing to pay a little bit more. Now, traditionally, they say you don't want to spend more than two cents per wipe. So just to give you a guideline. So if you want to watch a video where I'm basically buying every single different types of wipes so you don't have to, so that you have the best sound decision when it comes to purchasing a baby wipe, just keep on watching. Now, I don't want to take too long from this point. I'm going to just kind of hit the nail on the head, kind of give my first impressions. A lot of these I never tried before, so I'm just going to kind of unravel my mind. I do have the receipts to each one, so you know, we can try to calculate together, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do this part, but let's just, let's just kind of go along with it, and I'm going to try to give you the most information as I can. The first ones I am trying, Huggies Natural Care Refreshing Clean Scents. Okay, so I have tried these particular wipes before, but I kind of get these confused with another one. I know they have about two different ones of this green kind right here, but this is says it's infused with cucumber and tree tea, I guess, oil. So let's pop it up. So we're gonna do a pull test. I do definitely smell cucumber. Let's pull it out really fast. And let's do two. Okay, pretty fine. I have purchased this before, and I know that these rip. They do rip sometimes when they come up. So let's actually do like a breakaway test, durability test. I am barely trying. If you had a blowout, I ain't even checked the, okay. So we know durability is enough. Let's check thickness. I feel like 
Okay, so rubbing it, it is super thick. And I'll do rub tests. I would, I would like something like this. It's soft. Moisture, I would give like a, yeah, it's on the moisture side of the totem. It's not super moisturizing, but really, how much are you really rubbing? I don't think you're rubbing a baby with one towelette this much. The next one, now these are open because I use this currently. This one is Pampers Complete Clean. That looks like this in this blue bag. Now this one is open, so I don't know how honest I can be about the moisture because it's already an open pack. Once the air start hitting it, if it's been open or whatever, can be the honest. But I can tell you this, I really do like this as a backup pack. But pull test, it smells like the epitome of baby wipes. It does have a scent, which is a baby fresh scent. Typically when you pull this out, a lot does come out with it. So you do have to be mindful. That is not something that bothers me, but it may bother you. Now, I really like these because it is kind of durable. Like, look at that. You can rip it. Ugh. Like, if you really, really try, but you ain't really ripping this. Like, bitch. <laughs> See what I mean? Like when I pull it, there is a lot that comes out of it. But anyway, this is kind of what it looks like. It smells so good. I love this scent and I feel like after a wipe, it makes the booty smell so good, you know what I'm saying? Moisture test, it has a lot of liquid, but I wouldn't say it's 100% the most moisturizing. It is moisturizing, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's more like liquidy versus moisturizing. So it's not rough, but now I just don't like the fact that it feels like I'm like touching like the poop when I'm wiping them. I am a person that just folds like this and wipe their butt. If they're having a blowout, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be using like five, six, seven, eight of these. But if these had like grips on it, these will be way better. The next one I'm gonna try, Hello Bello White. What it looks like in the one that I got, kinda looks like that. Let's pop it open and get the test. I decided to get these instead of like water wipes because I know, and water wipes is not one of the ones I got because I already know I don't like them. So I wanted to get another one that could be a good alternative of the water wipes because both this and that is 99%. So let's do a pull test. And let's do one more. Okay, first impressions off of pulling it, it's kinda dry. But second impression is this cloth that feels really thick like a cloth. Okay, let's check durability. It's not going over. Okay, let's check moisture. Do the rub test. It's not very moisturizing, but I'm not mad at it either. This is very strong. And to be honest, I can tell you that I like these better than the water wipes. This is one wipe. I definitely feel like these would go a long way with one wipe. Okay. It's not particularly my type because it's not as moisturizing as I like to feel when I'm grabbing these, but aside from that is it's strong it's a strong wipe especially when it comes to like wiping food off their face and wipe a spot that don't got makeup on i'm not mad at it i would 100 percent dang it's a little rough don't push the car <laughs> but i would 100 percent buy this over water wipes 100 percent. i don't know if this is a popular brand but i feel like this is underrated and it has a slight scent a slight scent, to be honest. I would buy these. Okay, going to the plant-based wipes, which is honest wipes. Time to pop it off. Pull test. One, two, three. This is love right here. I'm out here with some wipes. This is love anyway. You got me buying these expensive wipes. So, first impressions, this is very similar to the Hello Bello. This is feels thick. But this feels a lot more moisturizing than the Halo Bello. Let's try durability. 
It's durable. It's a little bit less durable than the Hello Bella. Let's do a moisturize test. Yeah, definitely more moisturizing. I'm not gonna be able to tell the scent each for everyone. You might have to calculate that yourself or maybe I'll put it on screen if I remember. This pack is $4.99. That's expensive. I can tell you that right now. For this to be 99%, I might say I like these better than the Halo Bello, but I think the Hello Bello is cheaper. The only difference between that and this one is that it's a little bit more moisturized. This is twice as much. The next one is my favorite. Oh my God, but they're so, so expensive. I can tell you how much this pack costs by itself and not everyone sells this. And this is the Huggies Shea Moisture. Then this is what it looks like. So I think these are roughly about four cents per wipe. Now that is a little bit on the expensive side, but let me tell you, if I was gonna pay money for a wipe, if you could not already tell, it would be this one. I don't get these often because they are expensive, but I absolutely love these. And a part of it too, they're just not accessible everywhere. But this is the Clean Hydrate 4-in-1 Sensitive Skin Care. This is Huggies with cocoa and shea butter, but let's go ahead and pop the top and do the durable test. Now this will be interesting because I never did this type of test on this. Let me talk all this ish and then it don't prove. Pull test, one, two, three. First off is the scent. I can smell it right off the bat. This is what the cloth is looking like. It does have the ridges and everything. It actually has a little huggy circle on it. I'm doing too much, okay. I don't know if they're quite durable though. Okay. So these does rip pretty easily. I never noticed that before. This definitely rips super easy after all this bragging. Okay, so let me tell you why I love these though, but I've never done it. So the difference between this one and the other Huggies, uh, the Nourish, I think the Natural Care ones, like after pulling it out the thing, it used to rip. And then when I would wipe the babies, my finger would poke a hole through it. But I never experienced that with this. You see when I first like, you see? It, it wasn't, mm. so anyway, it doesn't like just rip apart, but then it rips apart once it gets that weak. And I never had an issue with it ripping when using it. So the scent, so clean. I absolutely love the scent. I can't describe it. The softest wipes I have ever felt. If you don't like a thick wipe, don't, don't listen girl. Don't get this. When I use these wipes, I don't use a lot of wipes like this. I am the type of person, if you're not, if you look careless with your wipe, get these because they're so thick and soft. I only use about two like wipes with this, even with a blowout, maybe three, maybe three. This just feels like luxury in a baby wipe. I know that that break test, but let me tell you, you're not gonna rip this while wiping your baby. The next one is Pamper Sensitive, and this is what it looks like. It's the first one that I've seen, like a little cut off thing inside of it. Okay, pull test. One, two, three. Now with these, no ridges. First impression, feels moisturizing scent. It's not much of a scent. It's a slight scent, but not much of a scent. Let's pull. Okay. I need to stop doing that. It is soft. It is soft. It's so crazy because it's really soft, but I don't know if it's moisturizing, but it's not dry. I feel like I'm feeling liquid. This is the weirdest thing. This is giving me plush blanket that's damp with water. Yeah, cause when I rub it here, it's not, it's not super moisturizing. I can feel the dryness, but I'm okay because it's so soft. I'm not mad at it. Do I like this better than the ones that I've been using? This is the clean. This one doesn't smell better. 
Sometimes when you wipe in poopy diapers, you just feel like you need a scent. I'm sorry. The sensitive one is definitely more moisturizing than the clean. So I like both. Next, the Pure. I really battled on getting this because I really didn't want to get it because they didn't sell it on its own and it's not necessarily cheap. This is the Pampers Aqua Pure that looks like this which I'm pretty sure you guys have seen before. So let's go ahead and pop this open. Do a pull test. It also has a little slit in the inside. One. Whoa. First thought, that is one. Okay. Oh, so that was two. This is the first one that pulled out multiple on the first one. First impressions. Not bad. Not super soft, not super rough. Durability. Can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can even. Boy, that water. It does have a scent. This is giving me, I just wanna lay this on my face and just sit it there. This is giving me face mask. I'm actually pretty surprised that this is 99% water because it's more moisturizing than the other ones that's dealing with, which is water. It's durable. I feel like this is a good wipe. Next one is the Target brand Up and Up, and this is a fragrance free, but it looks like this. The Up and Up brand. Now, I really hope this is not a situation where my thoughts are kind of like jumble up because I'm trying so many, but. Okay, full test. One. If you get past three, there's a chance that you definitely pull out more than that. It cut off on me because he didn't want me to tell you the truth. But I don't like the smell of these. These are the first ones that I'm like, I don't know about the smell. I, I don't know. Rubbing, not bad. Let's try. I'm not mad at it. Durability. I was, I'm kind of shocked because this feels like the same material, like a lot of the other one, and yet it breaks. This is another situation that I think is like the Huggies one that I like so much. They're not like a one that you're just gonna poke a hole through when you're wiping a baby, but it is soft. I would like to try using this on my girls and see how I feel. Next, I have the Cloud Island Sensitive Care Ultra Thick 80 pack of wipes. This is nostalgic to me because this is the print of the first blanket I got for Nala. So, pop the top on them. This two wipes. At first smell, yeah, this is two wipes. Another one, two wipes coming out together. This is giving me, you guys remember going to school and they used to have in the bathrooms that soap. It's like a natural, good type of soap. It used to be in those type of pumps that was like the metal stem and you would click it and the, and the soap was brown. <laughs> I hope y'all remember this, but the soap was brown and every time you watch it, it smelled like a napkin. Y'all remember it, back in the day, you used to use that soap in the brown paper towels. This is what this smelled like, like a brown paper bag or those paper towels with that soap. I'm actually, <laughs> this one smell like a brown paper bag. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised that they gave all these disclaimers because this doesn't feel ultra thick to me for this to be so puffy, I kinda expected a thicker wipe. This feels like a super thick, strong paper towel. I don't think this is super moisturizing. It is soft though. Let's try durability. I don't think this is $3.99 worth. The next one is the Parents' Choice Walmart brand. This is the Shea Brother one. This is the Shea Butter choice. I got this because it was Shea Butter, just like my favorite ones, and I wanted to see if there was one pretty similar to that one. So let's go ahead ooh, and pull this out. Pull test. 
What do I can say? By first scent, that scent is nostalgic, honey. Wow, that smells so good. Hmm. Let me pull out there. Okay, so it may rip, it may not. So I can just tell the bat it might not be the most, most durable. But let me tell you, I don't think I felt m more of a moisturizing baby wipe. This thing is so, it's definitely product on here. If you're a natural person, you might not like this. This is, it has stuff on this, honey. It smells so good though, so good. Hi you guys, I just wanted to jump in really quickly because I feel like my opinion of the baby white actually has changed because the next day after filming this video, we did open up the baby wipes and I definitely noticed that the change of the smell was very, very different than I first remembered it. Um, it became very perfumey, very strong, very, a little bit slightly obnoxious to be honest with you. And that is a strong statement for me because I love me some perfume, but yeah, it was not the same way I remembered it. So if you have sensitive skin, I definitely would stray away from this wipe because it probably messed you up to be honest. I felt like I was bamboozled and catfished. So yeah. Okay. So moisturizing. Not necessarily soft, extremely moisturizing. It's weird because you can tell that the material itself isn't the softest. and 99% water and plant-based ingredients. If you say so, this is the most smoothest water I ever felt in my life, but there's something in there. Like, I don't know if you see, my hand let me see if i can do it again can you see can you see that it's something in there because it suds i'm not 100 percent sure but y'all tell me because i don't know that world to be continued but that's what's going on with that one the next one i have is the huggy simple clean that looks like this and this one is so let's pop the top Okay, comes out super easy. This is give me upgraded, remember I was talking about that napkin soap thing? This is like the luxury version of that. A lot of product, moisturizing, but it's like moisturizing on certain sides. So this side is more moisturizing than this side. So it's uneven, same thing. The cloth itself isn't so soft, but because it's a lot of product, it kind of saves it. Again, I think I'm noticing that with Huggies. Huggies seems to be easily ripped. There's a lot of product on here though. This is super, it is moisturizing. Rub test. I don't like that. Oh no. Mm -mm. You hear that? Nah, that's too rough for me. I can't do that. And the last wipe is this. I'm gonna try to hurry up for my battery died. The last wipe is this Pamper Espresso. This is the Biotanical Rain one. That looks like this. And this is Ultra Soft, the douche ones. And it doesn't really say nothing else. Pop test. It has that little slit in the inside like the other one. Let's pull. Okay, that's two right there. Definitely can smell that biotechnical. It's very fragrant. Extremely fragrant. I love that. Soft. Both soft, both super moisturizing. Very moisturizing. Durability test. Durable. Mm-hmm. Rub test. I ain't mad at you. I am not mad at you, man. If you don't like a lot of fragrance, don't get this stuff. I ain't mad at you. Mm -mm. How much is this? I know I got this from Target. Hurry up, hurry up. Just in case it does shut off. I hope this video is very helpful for you guys. I really do. I really want it to be as informational and informative as possible. 
because I knew it was hard for me trying to figure this stuff out when it comes to buying baby wipes. But if you like this video, or if you have any questions or just anything you have to say, please comment down below. If you haven't already, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now I'll see you in the next video, but let me go ahead. So they do have different scents of these ones. So if you don't like fragrance, I wouldn't get either one of these because I know the other one's fragrant too. Yeah, I'm so sorry that it cut off, but, but yeah, that's gonna be all. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys. Have a good day.